What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit, and we are here staring at my SSR FC that I was using to compete this weekend in SSR Round 6 at Long Beach. So today we're going to take a look at my battle runs and uh, commentate on them a little bit and, uh, you know, give you guys a chance to see the competition and everything like that from my point of view. So it was a lot of fun doing it, had a lot of fun, some great battles with some old friends and some uh, new friends as well. So we're going to get right into talking about the battles. So my first battle was in basically, I guess, preliminaries, top 32, I guess you would say. They run a weird bracket system. So you ended up having to win two battles in order to go to top 16. So my first battle was up against Jonesy. Um, very solid driver. He uh, had won his earlier battle, his first uh, his first run. Um, I was heating up my tires and getting my car all set up. Uh, we were running a little bit laggy timed because um, uh, the Discord was a little bit slow. But um, overall, um, it ran very well. So, like I said, my first battle was against Jonesy. I was in the lead position in the start. Um, UNKT John, who you guys know, big uh, big time uh, member of the channel, been here from Forza Horizon three days. It was our gate person. So we made our first run. We were in the lead in the lead position against uh, Jonesy. 50 roll up to the 500, and we initiated in right before the two. So my first initiation was a pretty good. I was a little bit off the clip. Jonesy was right there with me was able to transition close to the wall, didn't hit it, and was able to keep the car over that bump and not totally spin out. I almost lost it there, flicked it a little bit too hard, was able to recover it, but at that point I was like, okay, this is kind of a bit of a deficit because I over-rotated through that section, and I was like, okay, well, I'm going to have to do something major in the chase in order to get this battle win. So <clears throat> we ended up looping it back and uh, getting ready for our second run. We were getting ready for the second run. I was trying to heat up my front tires because I noticed on initiation, <clears throat> my uh, front tires washed a little bit. That kind of pushed me a little bit wider than I wanted to on initiation. So that's why we decided to uh, heat up our tires a little bit in the front. So then I went into the chase position against Jonesy. And uh, very solid driver, like I said before. He was very smooth in his uh, battle before um, he was going against me. Like I said, we were waiting on the gate car. It was uh, definitely kind of very nervous um after throwing in a little bit too hard but i kind of calmed myself down and just realized it was just another tandem battle no big deal nothing to really worry about at first i was like great i got a bad start but then i was able to get up to the 50 roll get up there right with jonesy and uh flick it in and try to flick it in right on his door stayed off the rumble curb a little bit of a straight in there but it wasn't too much and then i was able to basically pour on the pressure with jonesy a little bit over rotation there again through the fountain but I was able to keep the car in control and this is where it all went wrong for Jonesy he uh, over rotated on the final turn and came into my door so because of that the judges deemed that as a spin before the end of the run because we had to power out that section before the end of the run so I was given the win against Jonesy because he had uh, made a mistake so it was definitely um, jitters were gone first battle was out of the way I had one more to do to make myself into top 16 so, like I said, I was given the win on that battle, and then we went into the battle of, well, something, someone who has been in the channel prior before, and is a big, long-time uh, member of the channel for, you know, back in the Forza Horizon 3 days. So, we were waiting to see who actually uh, was going to give me, if I was going to be given the win, or anything like that. So, we decided to uh, get all parked up and wait for our next battle and our next battle was against t john himself and uh well we lined up with t john we uh we were in the chase first and then we had our lead so the first uh the first battle between uh t john and i was uh definitely very intense and uh t john like i said a long time uh long time member of the channel been around for the Forza Horizon three days we did a lot of tandems and stuff like that and it was a lot of fun you know going up against him in SSR so we were lined up waiting for the gate car to go T John was in the lead position at first and uh, I was in the follow 
So the nerves were a little bit, uh, a little bit gone at this point, and I was just more like, okay, this is T. John. I've tandemed with him before. He's a good driver. I can throw it in there and have a good time with it because, from what I was seeing in practice with him and stuff like that, and seeing his uh, driving, he's very smooth. So. The worst part about this whole competition was sitting at that gate car waiting for the run because the only communication we really had was through the uh, Discord. So I'm sitting there, you know, waiting, and then, you know, the gate car finally moves, and it's like, okay, I got to make sure I'm, uh, you know, get off the clutch right and don't stall the car so I can get a good uh, chase. We get up to the 50 roll. We start rolling in. T-John initiates. I initiate in there right with him. I fall back a little bit because a little bit of bobble on initiation, but then I'm able to suck back up to T-John's door and uh, kind of... Uh, kind of stay with him trying not to overdo it through that uh fountain section because that is a bad section to uh overcharge in there so uh, i was not all the way out to that out to touch and go t john smacks the wall there and uh kind of straightens up a little bit so with that we went into uh the chase position uh for t john and i went into the lead position for our second run so at this point i knew i had a little bit of a deficit with the straightening, but then T-John hit the wall. So it kind of, I guess, evened it out. So we were kind of at, I guess, a stalemate in a sense. And it was more so I needed to do something on my lead to fully stand out in front of T-John, or if he was better in his chase, you know, I was gonna take that loss and not make it in the top 16. So I was just focused on my initiation point, trying to make sure I initiated right, didn't wash out, didn't hit the rumbles, didn't uh, write the car off into the tire barrier, which we saw a couple times prior to my runs so the second run with me in the lead and uh, T. John in the chase um, did my 50 roll hard on the throttle shifting in the third flicking in right before the 200 didn't do that much of initiation but it was a good initiation T. John right there tapping me a little bit and then initiating back and forth this part I was a little bit better on that key um, on the basically keyhole around the fountain so my lead run I felt was so much better and then I was a little bit shallow there and I ran the curve. So I'm sitting there like, okay, well, I made a mistake on my lead, but I felt like T-John fell back a little bit. Well, the judges could not de deem a winner, so they, we ended up going one more time. They, they judges an OMT, so T-John and I had to line up again and go one more time. And you know what? I couldn't have been happier with a one more time because I knew the mistakes I made and I knew I could correct those because I ha I've been able to make those clean runs after that. So we ended up lining up for our one more time battle. T. John and I definitely, uh, you know, like I said, a very good guy, a very good friend of mine. So we lined up for our one more time battle for um, to find out who was going into top 16. And um, the nerves were, like I said, the nerves were not really there anymore. It was just another tandem battle. So we went into our one more time battle. I kind of stalled a little bit. T. John was nice enough, I noticed, to slow up to make sure I could get up with him. And then we did our 50 roll, we went in, T. John initiated really close to the wall. I initiated right there with him, a little bit farther back. And this is where it got a little, little bit sketchy. They said I straightened out. I don't see a straighten out there at all, but they were saying that I had straightened up in drift and they almost wanted Demon to zero. Now there I could see it was possibly a straighten, but T. John was a little on a weird, weird, I guess line that I wasn't ready for so at this point I kind of knew I was at kind of a, um, a disadvantage going into my chase or going into the lead of the next run so we went back around loop back around lined up with the gate car and uh, we're waiting just for the gate car I'm going through my head I'm like okay I need to make sure I just initiate correctly make sure I throw some angle don't straighten up make sure that hump right before that uh, you know water fountain turn I don't let it you know, disrupt the car too much. The FC was running very incredible. I definitely like how this car handles. Definitely be using this car more. So, I, it was my lead run for the one more time battle. 50 roll up. Initiated hard in. Definitely a lot more angle than all my other ones. T-John's still right there, but he faltered off a little bit there. I was able to keep my composure and work my way through, get over the bump, but he had misjudged the transition, and he ended up hitting me, and it made him go back pretty far there and then right there he kind of misjudged it a little more I threw on tons of angle at the end of the run glad I didn't hit the wall so T. John and I were super excited about that run we were waiting for the uh, judges call and uh, we uh, were wondering you know what was going to happen and uh, well 
T. John, uh, I think either he knew what happened or he just uh, decided to go full send because, well, he ends up, uh, you know, on his lid in the fountain section and uh, definitely kind of a funny, uh, funny incident to come around to to see him send it into the wall and end up on his roof. <laughs> you know, T. John, great guy, great battle against T. John. Definitely was excited to go against him. The judges deemed me and gave me the win, which sent me on to the top 16. Now, top 16 was where it got intense for me because I got bracketed up against my usual suspect's teammate, T. U.S. Anthem, who also helped me to the car and made the paint for me. So it was kind of like a, all right, well, this is just another tandem with a T. U.S. guy. If I lose, if I win, whatever, this is T. U.S. guy going into the grade eight. So I got bracketed up with my T. U.S. teammate, T. U.S. Anthem for the top eight. And, uh, well, we're going to take a look at what happened there because uh, I kind of made a little bit of a mistake and it cost me the run. Uh, T. U.S. Anthem, a very solid driver. And uh, he's definitely a very good pro driver for sure. So, because he also has his SSR Pro license, so he's definitely a very solid driver. So, like I said, we got bracketed up against him for, you know, top 16. So, him and I lined up, gate car went. I was not really ready. I kind of got a bad start, but we were right there with him. I kind of bumped him a little bit because I was not set so I kind of started off a little bit behind him and uh, I kind of got a little bit left behind by him he was definitely on a very fast tear his car glitched a little bit there I was able to catch up a little bit but almost tapping the wall there definitely was super scared that I was gonna write that off but was able to kind of catch up and stay in chase so my chase run in the top 16 was not that bad I was a little bit far back but it's not like it was an incredibly uh, incredibly bad run, you know, Anthem, very solid lead driver, very solid chase driver. So it was time to flip it up and uh, give me the chance to uh, throw down my lead run. But this is where a mistake was made on my part. I misjudged something. Unfortunately, the win did go to Anthem. You know, like I said, I was not upset to lose to TUS Anthem in the top 16. So we did our 50 roll, hard on throttle. I wanted to initiate hard, initiated threw on some extra angle, you know, kind of guess clipped that a little bit, but Anthem was right there. I was able to definitely run this section probably best I've ever run. Right through there, right on there, right here is where I made the mistake. Threw too much angle there, accidentally misanticipated the transition, slowed down way too much on the handbrake, and that last turn is what did it for me and what caused me to lose, to, to lose that battle. You know, I misjudged it. I misjudged the transition. I threw too much angle in there in the first one. So big, you know, congratulations to you, Anthem for moving on to the grade eight. Unfortunately, he got knocked out in the grade eight, but you know, not a, not a, not a bad way for me to start my first competition and first, uh, you know, comp run, because this is my actual first competition that I've ever been in in Forza. I've been trying to qualify for ESDA and stuff like that. But I never got a chance to actually compete. So this is my first competition. TUS Anthem and I had a nice little parade lap back next to each other, rocking the same liveries. And uh, it was just a great experience for me to compete in SSR. I had a lot of fun with it. Gained a lot of experience in competing. And uh, definitely excited to do more SSR competitions, maybe some KDFs. And continue my goals to try and get into, the S into ESDA. So... We're going to be competing at the next SSR round. I'm not sure where it is yet, but you know I'll be bringing this to the channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, battle content from SSR round six at Long Beach. More competitions I will be giving you and bringing to the channel. Once again, a big congratulations to uh, TUS Anthem for taking the win in the top 16 against me. You know, it's definitely, uh, I don't feel sad for losing in top 16, especially to one of my TUS brethren. And, uh, it's definitely was a good experience for me. So until next time, guys, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All that you found in the description box below. <laughs> and as always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys next time.